Hi, I'm Karina, and today I'm going to walk through the Lambert Solver in Astrogator. This is a new tool that we just added in SDK 11.6, and it allows users to take a final or a beginning and final state of their satellite and create a guesstimate transfer between those two orbits. So right now I have my Earth and Mars, and what we want to do is create an interplanetary transfer orbit from an Earth parking orbit to our Mars parking orbit. So I have three different 3D graphics windows open. I have one centered on my Earth, one centered on Mars, and a top-down view centered on the Sun with our Earth and our Mars orbits. And I'm using the Lambert Solver to replicate or simulate our Pathfinder's mission from Earth to Mars. So the Pathfinder is an astrogator propagated satellite. And astrogator allows us to define full trajectory and maneuvers within our satellite's orbit. The Lambert Solver is something that we added very recently, and it is accessible through our component browser. So I can go up to our toolbars at the top, Utilities, Component Browser. And right now it is under our Design Tools folder. So if you click on Design Tools, we can see our Lambert Solver. This is just our default tool for generating solutions to Lambert's problem. In my case, I want to create a specific solver that is corresponding to the Pathfinder's uh, satellite object. So what I did is I duplicated our Lambert solver, and then now I can go in and I can set specific parameters for this Pathfinder satellite. In the properties of the Lambert solver, we can specify what our central body is. So this is an interplanetary transfer. Our central body is our sun, and what mode we want to use. In this case, we're just defining the initial and final central bodies. So we're going from Earth to Mars. Knowing the epic of my Pathfinder, I can specify that here. And then my time of flight, let's change it to something that makes a little more sense here instead of a huge number for seconds. We're specifying 212 days. And then what I can do is define the initial and the final parking orbits for our Pathfinder satellite. So in this case, my departure body is the Earth. I'm starting at a radius four times the radius of Earth, and I am going to be taking off at an angle 90 degrees in the velocity normal plane. So you can think of this as something like a B plane, where we're going to be taking off basically in the direction of movement, so in the velocity direction here. We're departing from a circular orbit, and we want to consider the Earth's body gravity here. And then same with our arrival, I'm just specifying the body, which is Mars the radius I want to arrive at, and the angle at which I want to arrive. So when I set all of these body-to-body -body and arrival parameters, I can go down, I can specify what propagator I want to use. In this case, I'm going to use our HPOP propagator, which is our high-precision orbit propagator. This takes into account force models like third-body gravity, solar radiation pressure, and drag. And then what I can do is I can click Construct Sequence. And what that does is creates a sequence or a mission control sequence for our astrogator satellite. So it's a really simple way for anyone who may not be as experienced with astrogator or astrodynamics to at least come up with a guesstimate transfer orbit between our Earth and our Mars planets. And then once I've done that, I can actually click this Add to MCS segment. So that's our mission control sequence. And I can go into the Pathfinder's properties and see that it added this Pathfinder transfer arc sequence. So really all it is is an initial state and then a target sequence that has two maneuvers. So our maneuver to get out of our Earth parking orbit it propagates for a certain amount of time, and then a maneuver once it reaches Mars in order to fall into that Mars parking orbit. So I can kind of go through and look here. The initial state is defined based off of that initial uh, position that we had at Earth. 
our maneuver at Earth is using XYZ components for thrust, and it's targeting various uh, times so that we're able to define that kind of general transfer arc from leaving Earth to Mars over that 212-day period. So I'm just going to run this really quick. And it was pretty quick. I can see it converged very quickly. It gives me information like the um, delta V that's required for both of those maneuvers. And we can see over in my 3D graphics window that we have our Pathfinder leaving Earth transferring all the way to Mars, where it'll reach 212 days later over here. So again, our Lambert solver was added just to allow users that may not be as experienced or knowledgeable in astrodynamics to really give at least a, a first order estimate of a transfer arc between uh, two states, our initial and our final states. Thanks.